We had started the project in New York, and the game was going to end in Boston. We were going to get you to the Institute. And at that time, we were sort of like, well, do we want to do two locations? We were sort of started debating. And then there were all these games coming out that were using New York. And Emil, who's from Boston, you can ask him about this. I remember Todd Howard looked at me and he's like, I know, you probably want the game set in Boston. I'm like, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, because he knew I was from Boston. And I'm like, I'm just saying, it has probably everything we need, but whatever. And I think that was great, because I think that New England flavor really sort of gave a certain vibe to the game that was very fresh, very different. It was their decision. But once that decision was made, I was pretty happy. <laughs> the first U.S. subway system was built in Boston. Well, I'm from South Boston, which is a, you know, the historically Irish Catholic neighborhood. There's a castle called Fort Independence. I knew that had to be a big place in the game. And so when we made the castle the headquarters of the Minutemen, it was just little touches like that. My high school is in the game, my house is in the game, train station near my house is in the game, like all that sort of stuff. And it's a very personal game to me. It has that Americana, right? It has like the history of America there. And there's so many great landmarks that you could use, but it's frankly like, they aren't all that well known. Um, to a larger place, like people don't know the city of Boston the way they may know a New York or somewhere else. And so it was a really good backdrop for the kind of things that we wanted to do. And we always knew we were ending up at the Institute, which people knew was centered up in Boston. <laughs>